hey guys welcome back so guys we are continuing our react crawl application so now guys we have already learned how to fetch the record and how to add the student record and now guys in this video we are going to learn how to edit and update the record okay so guys when we click on this edit button it should go to the url called student slash then id with the slash edit okay and after that in that form we are going to copy the same add form okay so same form will be copying and pasting it and we'll be editing for the edit form okay so now guys let's get started so first let's move to this html table which is on the student view at this edit button so let's go back to our react application so now guys let's go to student.js file and here is the edit button okay so at this place now guys we are going to tell student to pass the id and then edit okay so here we need to pass a dynamic id so for that you can just add a dollar symbol open and close curly brace where you will take this item of id so let's copy that and paste here done guys but you see that it's not loaded correctly why because it is not in a curly braces so let's control x and remove this double quotes open and close curly brace use a tilt symbol below the escape button and paste it save and get back refresh so now let's click on this id number two that is om prakash so here we edit and you see guys that the url has changed over here so guys now let's create a route for this so you can get back to our react crud app so we have created a router and inside that index.js file so if you don't understand how we created this please watch out the part one of this video link in the description okay so now guys as simple let's create a route so here you give a path equal to double quotes and pass that so now guys instead of two we have to pass the id and now you need to go to a element that is your component okay open and close here you pass your component as student edit so let me copy from above and paste here and instead of create let's make it to edit so we will create a page let me copy this above line and just copy this component name paste here and we are going to create a student edit.js file so what i am going to do to save the time let us copy the same student create js file okay so let's click on this student create js copy and paste control cv so it's copied and now let's rename this file guys as student edit so press f2 and type edit okay hit enter to rename the file and now guys let us start with the changes so as simple first we have to change the function name make it as student edit copy and export that let's move at last and just export default student edit as simple so first step is clear guys and now we need to get the data from this url okay so i mean this id so you can get back and as simple you need to add here one let open and close curly brace where id equal to use params function okay you have to use this param just add it here use params and we do not require this let's remove and the student data is here so we don't require to define it it will automatically call all the column fields okay so you just need to add a simple curly brace open and close curly brace all set so now guys first step we need to change the form name let me minimize all this here so instead of add student let's make it to edit student and when the form loads at that time what we need to do all the id2 details and paste in the input box okay so for that you can just get back on the top and you need to use use effect okay use effect so instead of typing it guys you can just copy from the first page itself 
which is part one you can learn from there and you need to copy this use effect here and just get back to your student edit and paste it that's it guys so now here we need to change the api okay so before changing the api you need to import all this user effects so in your react add the user effect here as simple and we are using this set student okay so you need to copy this date set student and paste it here done and now guys you need to check the api so what is the api for edit so we have already developed in the laravel application so you can get back to the api.php and here you see guys to get the student data here is a method okay here is a api route so what we are going to do we will copy this route get back this is a root domain and here after the students we have to paste it so let's paste here student slash id slash edit okay so what is that id will come here so that is nothing but your this id okay student id paste it here so we need to make it a readable format just add dollar before your curly brace that's it now it is in a readable format as simple guys now you can get the response and once you get the response you enter student i mean response dot data dot student it's not students why it's student because we have coded the api like that okay so you can go to this edit on the student controller at edit function i will show you what is the result we are getting response so where is the edit function perfect so here is the edit function guys and you see that once the record is found we are sending in a variable student okay and your pasting here and getting the data and setting in the use state that is your variable called student and this student will be using and displaying the record as simple so now guys let's copy the student variable and get below to the form first so here we go and here you see we are already using that student variable student dot name student dot email phone and course whatever the input fields are so if you want to confirm you can just get back here on this you can check out here okay so these are the input fields i am using in the api data perfect get back once again okay navigate is not defined let's remove that where is that navigate here we do not require and here we see a warning why because we have not passed the id if we are passing any params value inside your use effect you just need to copy this and send it here and this will call inside your effect and that means you are sending the id here okay save it so still on line number 44 let me search for that navigate here okay so it's here let me remove it it did not require so do not get confused guys that was another thing so we are focusing on how to get the data in our input box right now so refresh perfect so we got the data guys that is id number two om prakash let's go back on the students and i will go with the id one here and it says with prakash code but we didn't see that uh, data is loaded or not okay i mean we need to show loading part so once you click here edit data has not come for meanwhile but later it came okay so we need to add a loading part for that so you can just get back here okay so in this use effect you need to set the loading while opening the form you need to make it to true so let's make it true and then guys what we have to do once the data is loaded successfully loaded then you need to set the loading as false as simple now it will work fine so you can get back so go back and now let's click on edit here you see loading please wait once the data is loaded it will show the form cool 
So now guys we have successfully fetched the data into the form and now let's try to update this data into our database using API. As simple. Now you can get back to the form button. So here is my button name. I'm going to change it to update and the form submit. Okay. Button type submit. So once you click this button update student, it goes to the form tag. On the form tag, it calls for on submit that is your function name here so instead of save student we'll call update student let's copy this and just go to the update student function okay so here you see that is already a save student let's rename as update student and then inside this update student we will change all the data Okay, so now guys, once you click on form submit, that means update student, then you are setting the loading true. That means it should be loading and then you'll get all the data of your use date that is student variable and store in one data variable. So that data variable will be passing to our Axios HTTP request to update the record. So guys, to update the record, we have a different API and different method request. So here we are going to use a put method to update the record with the ID. So here is my API. Let's go to the API.php. So on the route put, we are going to update the data. Okay. So here is the same API. Let's go back and paste here as simple. And now guys, you need to just add a dollar symbol before the open and close calibrates. And this will be the ID. And now guys, you pass the data and then you get the response that is alert. Whatever message you get from your response that is updated successfully and set the loading to false. Okay. So now guys, inside this catch function, we are handling the input errors and 404 ID not found and internal server errors. Okay. So we do not have a 404 error type. So let me add that also here and let's tell 404 if the ID is not found at that time and it's not an input error. It's a alert. Let's tell as alert dot response dot data dot message we get from backend. Okay. From the API response. So now let us save this and make sure this input set input error list is already given or not okay it's given and we are using this let me search that also in the input cool so we are already checking so now you can escape and get back to the update function so guys now let us save it just get back and see the output okay let's refresh once before updating the record and make sure your inspect developer tool is active so here we go to console log and now so here my name is Ved Prakash let me keep Ved N and let's update the student Cool. So here you see guys student updated successfully. Okay. And you see that the data has changed to with n. Let me refresh and show you. Perfect guys. So it has loaded the data correctly. Everything is working smooth. And one more thing guys, I just missed out here in the, when the form loads. So here at this point, if you mischange the data, like right now you have three ids okay three records i just give id number six so at that time you'll find there is no data and you'll get some errors like as you see here 404 okay so what at this time so you need to solve this also using catch function so let's go back to the use effect and you have to write a catch function so as simple guys let me just copy from below so this is the catch function. Let's copy it and paste in the user effect. 
here you paste done guys and now you get the error response whatever response you get we do not get input errors while fetching the records okay so you can remove that so we have one error called 404 and another error for 500 like if internal server or code error comes so at that time you can show the alert as simple guys now you can just save it and so we'll copy the student variable and let's move below so after your update also so here is my loading and after the loading itself let's use the if condition so here i am going to check my object data dot keys open and close paste the student variable and then check the length of it l-e-n-g-t-h which is triple equal to zero if there is no i mean there is no data okay just return open and close bracket and container and inside this you can just type in a h4 tag no such student id found as simple guys okay let's save it and you can get back and if you refresh so first we get alert okay and then you can display the no such student id font cool go back to id one and i just want to check one more condition so if i don't give this email id what happens so if we update here that time you need to get alert email id is required okay so if you refresh and by default it comes perfect so guys we have successfully learned how to edit and update the student record in react js using laravel api okay so guys in this video that's it thank you for watching this video guys please subscribe like and share